He's currently from Philadelphia, but he's fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Give it up for Cornelius George. Out of Cadillac, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Vicious Van Swerden. Now we're actually going to use Cornelius George, my buddy, versus Van Swerden for another pro fight this evening. Cornelius is one of your training partners, didn't he? Yes, he is, but I would never train with him if he decided to wear those shorts. Are they too big for you? No, I, I, they're, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to say it takes some real balls to wear shorts like that, but I don't know that they would fit if he had real balls. <laughs> Cornelius is a very good wrestler. He's looking like a single leg take now. Yeah, I switched to a double. Cornelius wrestled in college, I know that. He's eating some punches. He looks like he's wearing shorts from high school, maybe middle school. Cornelius has very dominant top control, so I wouldn't see uh, Vance having a very good uh, or very easy time getting up from this position. He's going to a closed guard. This fight's brought to us by Community Ford in Mooresville, Indiana. You are to ask for Joel Graves if you call. They've got new and used cars and trucks. You gonna buy your next new or used car or truck from there, Shano? Most definitely. I'm glad to get them to sponsor cagecraze.com. Yes. Shameless plug for your own website there. See there what you did no there. Shame in my game. <laughs> Nasty hammer fist by Cornelius. Tell if Swerden was turning into those or turning away from them. I think he actually did a little bit of both. Yeah. A lot of guys just try to keep moving their head, hoping to catch an illegal shot to the back of the head so they can pull an Alex Rosman and claim for weeks that that's why you beat them in a fight, even though I was dominating him completely up until he got punched in the back of the head, allegedly. You like how I make everything about me all the time? I do. Only because I enjoy watching you so much. Yes. And uh, I was right outside the cage during that fight. And uh, I think there's even a Facebook picture of me saying, what just happened? You have a picture that actually talks? That's amazing. Yeah, actually. Uh, that you know, should be your profile a, picture. It, it actually was for a while. They say a picture is worth a million words or a thousand or something like that. <laughs> picture's worth a thousand words, but yours can only say four to ten, right? Yeah. There's so many jokes in there. We'll leave that alone. As Cornelius uh, remains on top and in control. It's like he's throwing some elbows there. A couple of them landing, a couple of not. It's been pretty busy. It's like Swarton's taking a punishment. Yeah, he's still hanging in there. He doesn't seem to be looking for a way out. Like Alex Rosman. <laughs> Cornelius is, well, he's working for that arm triangle, but he's in the wrong position to do it. I see a couple of more elbows from the corner here. Yeah. Here they are. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's doing a lot of damage, but Corn is definitely dominating the position and dominating the round. I don't know about you, but just having Corn on top of me really mean it. Yeah, he's a, I think he weighs around 275 pounds or so. He is small and compact too. Like when he's on top of you, he's not easy to move. Moves well for a guy that size, also. Yeah, his, his wrestling skills are impeccable. <clears throat> Swarton's almost giving up that arm. He's got uh, Corn locked in uh, half guard there. So he's trying to sh shrimp uh, out of that and get back to full guard. I don't think he's going to be able to do it from there, but Sean, what do you think? No, not against the cage. Like, I've had fights like this. When you're a guy like Cornelius, you know, a lot of times the crowd will start booing, but it's kind of like, what else do you want, to, you want the guy on top to do? He's dominating, he's holding the position, and he's landing strikes, you know? Um, he's not going to be in any more advantageous position in side control as he is right here. He's still going to be able to land the shot, so. 
Looks like Swerton is just biding his time. Maybe hoping for a stand up. Yeah, I think he was actually looking towards the rest, uh, hoping for that as well. He's back to full guard. He may have been letting the ref know that if he gets choked for 45 seconds, he wants out 30 seconds in. <laughs> like, listen, the second time I pass out, I want out of the fight. Well, Gary comes to the end of the round here. Very dominant for Cornelius. <clears throat> I'd say it's uh, safe to say he's got that one. Right? Yes, for sure. And to help his opponent up. Good show of sportsmanship before he knocks him back down. I'd expect Cornelius to shoot another takedown here very shortly. Worked well for him in the first round, and Swerden didn't seem to have much off of his back to offer Cornelius. Corner fake on a couple jabs there. Corner Corner fake single. Again, take down again. I'm expecting to switch it to a double and drive him straight ahead. He's taking a little bit of punishment there from uh, Swerden. Yeah, switch to the double. Back to the single. Sweeping out he is. Back into half guard. It's Cornelius, I believe, his second or third pro fight. I know he's 5 and 0 as an amateur. I want to say that it is his second, but I could be wrong. It tends to happen every now and then. I'm going to say third just because I like to go against the grain and I'm kind of a hater. Well, that way we're, we're covered. No matter right. What. Jordan trying to shrimp out. But that was a powerful shrimp, too. <laughs> too close to the cage to do anything with it. That's one adjustment when you go to the UFC, when you're used to fighting in a smaller cage like that, and then suddenly you're in the big 30-foot cage. It is an amazing uh, difference how big it is. Especially if you're uh, looking to walk up. Yeah. You got to scoot across the cage and then walk up. Right? Or if you're running from a submission like Stefan Struve. And scoop 19 <laughs> feet across the cage to pin yourself <laughs> up against it. And then everyone can ask you for weeks afterward why you pushed him into the cage. Neil is staying steady with the ground and pound. A lot more of the same than we had in the first round. Neil is uh, dominating this uh, round as well. So we still got him locked up in the half guard. Looked like he was looking to the ref uh, for the stand up. There's my jiu jitsu coach, James Klingerman, in the background. Team the cage. James Klingerman. Cornelius George is team James Klingerman. Yes, he is. <clears throat> kind of IBJJA. What's IBJJA stand for? Indian or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy, I believe. I think you are correct. So we've got a knot right there above his eye. I don't know. It looks like he's talking to somebody. I don't know who he'd be talking to. He might be asking Corn to let him up. I'm not sure. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me at one time. <laughs> Here's Bruce Pettis in his pimp outfit. Showing Carter yet. Carter esque. Yes. Yeah. He tries to have a, uh, a different suit for every event. Shoney Carter or Bruce Pettis? That would be Bruce Pettis. Okay. I'm going to say Shoney Carter does also. And his shorts are barely bigger than Cornelius George's. <laughs> I want to take this time to remind everybody that I will be fighting uh, February 10th at the 8 Second Saloon. Um, <clears throat> it's not exactly the Bell Center in Montreal, but uh, the fans out there aren't exactly the star celebrities I'm used to being around either. So everybody should come out and check it out. Sean, how can everybody get tickets for that? Uh, they should actually email me for them uh, so I can get my cut is what they should do. Um, that's my understanding. The LC doesn't even have tickets available. I am the only venue to which you can buy <laughs> tickets to that event. So they should email me at smccorkle23 at aol.com. And they should also follow me on Twitter at, at BigSexyMcCorkle. I actually follow you. Do you? Yeah. I believe I asked for a... Uh a return follow on Facebook and it was denied. No, that's part of my mystique. I cannot follow anyone on Twitter. I've got 8,000 followers and 7,999 of them hate my guts. So it makes for entertaining conversation back and forth. I think you should Are we looking at a heel hook here? Dot com, your first person to follow. 
I always said the only person I would follow is my wife if I was dumb enough to ever get married again, but that would only to be to make sure she wasn't cheated on me. <laughs> Women are very scandalous nowadays, you know, in case you didn't know. <laughs> it's like Corn's trying to take the back here. He's going to put on a little damage before he does. <clears throat> Swarton is really hanging in there. I mean, for the beating he's taken. Um, Corn gave him room to get out of that. Looks like we got some... A decent amount of blood coming out of the nose of Swarton. Uh, We're coming to the end of the round here. Another very dominant round for Cornelius George. Continuous. Ooh. And here we go in round three. Cornelius has this one pretty much locked up as long as he doesn't uh, do anything dumb here, get knocked out or get caught in a submission. But from what I've seen, Swarden doesn't look like he's throwing many submissions that way. Oh, that knee would have been ugly. Looks like Swarden's arms are pretty tired. Anytime guys carry a lot of muscle mass like that, they tend to get uh, arm weary pretty fast. Now muscle mass, though, what do you know about that? I was going to say, I knew a lot about it before I had to start cutting to 265. Now I look like I have cancer every time I'm <laughs> making the weight. With any luck, one day I will, Shano. There you go. We got high hopes. Like, Corn's got him pushed up against the cage here. <clears throat> Swarden looked for a knee. Couldn't tell. I got a bad angle. I don't know if that landed on Corn's face or. It didn't look like it. I don't think it did. I'm guessing if it did, it didn't gonna, do anything. I'm guessing Cornelius can go for another takedown. Probably just ride out the rest of the fight. Yeah. Looks like both competitors are pretty tired. Oh, nice little knee there from Swarden. Swarden looks like he uh, should be in a bodybuilding competition, not a cage fight. Well, he's maintaining position. I'll remind everybody that uh, Carlos Diaz for American Top Team is one of our sponsors. Um, also Community Four down in Mooresville, Indiana. Um, sudden Impact Collision and Repairs, and MI Entertainment. I think that covered them all, didn't it? I do believe so. Yeah, Corn uh, just continuing to uh, dominate this fight. He's staying on top and, and keeping pressure on Swarden. <clears throat> a lot of times guys will give a hard time to a guy for having a boring fight, but if, if the guy you're fighting doesn't want to do anything but just hold on and survive, you can't really do much. I thought Jonathan Ivey and hit him, I believe, 376 times. They said in the fight, uh, he hit me once. And uh, he made it all the way almost to the end of the second round just by holding on and grabbing me the entire time. Doesn't say much for my punching power if I hit somebody 376 times and they couldn't knock him out. But well, I was, I was going to say the same here. Uh, you know, it's, it seems like Corn is putting the damage on, but uh, it's got to be frustrating to him that uh, he's not finishing this fight right now. Yeah. I do believe this is the longest fight that Corn has ever had. Well, I can guarantee you one of two things. Either Swerden's going to sleep or the audience is going to sleep during this fight. One of the two, because Swerden is not uh, really doing much, and you can't fault Cornelius for, well, finally a stand-up. Looks like... Have a slow stand-up at that. Yes. I think the ref maybe thought that Swerden had been choked unconscious four times, and that's why he separated him. Swerden comes out with a kick, showing he's got a little bit of energy left. Although his hands are down by his waist. <clears throat> Corden looking for the, uh, the right punch. There he and goes. There it is. He's setting up the big right hand. I think both guys taking a little bit of a break right now. If you're swerving, you don't have time for a break. You got to come out swinging with everything you got, hoping uh, to land something because Cornelius has dominated this fight. He has to do something here. He needs to finish it to, uh, to even have a hope for a win. I hope that Cornelius' shorts stay on because they look like they are really struggling at this point. <laughs> Still got him pinned against the cage. Here's a nice knee from Swerden. Oh, what a good right hand from Cornelius. 
Sorry about that break. I uh, <clears throat> had to recover from uh, that last joke. <laughs> the laughter was overwhelming, I could tell. It was a belly laugh. Looks like Cornelius just holding on here. And Looks like he ate a knee there. Didn't do much damage. <clears throat> Continues to work the body. Sometimes when guys get this tired late in a fight, it's limited how much damage they're going to do to each other. Yeah. Swerden just apologized for punching Cornelius in the face, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. Well, I Maybe they they're... agreed ahead of time Swerden would not land any punches, which <laughs> explains his performance so far. Like, dude, I am sorry. Was, was that the end of the fight? Well, I what do we have here? You land another punch. Maybe it's <laughs> another time for another apology. I believe that's the end.